So this video is a bit different to my normal one. So um, I thought I'd um, just share with you what I've bought in the um, Boxing Day sales. So um, as you can see, I have purchased a Nescafe Dolce Gusto Krups Lumio, or as <laughs> as the Nescafe people like to say, Lumio. Yeah. Anyway, uh, and I'm um, also three sets of pods. Um, so we'll just cover over how much these cost and um, if they're any good. Okay, so to start off with, uh, this uh, Dutch Augusto Lumio uh, is currently uh, on sale in the UK in Curry's PC World for £38, uh, down from, it says 55 but it, looking at um, Camel Camel Camel, it says that uh, it's gone up and down, but it's the cheapest it's been for, well, ever. By looks fair, by only by a couple of pound, but it's the saving. So nonetheless, I picked one up because I've been wanting to get one because my parents got one. Uh, and then uh, currently to go with that, these um, are currently three for ten pound in ASDA. So um, if you like your coffee or you already got one, then uh, go ahead and pick one of those up. Well, pick three of those up for a nice little saving. Um, I've also bought some from the Dutch Augusta website. Uh, I think they're three ninety nine for a pack, or th uh, two ninety nine for a pack. Um, so I bought five more the packs that are coming, and uh, they they work out the equivalent of about fifty p a cup. So um, yeah, so we'll just start go ahead and unboxing it. It's going to do this with one hand because you know why not. Ah. Oh, I'm not to be able to use my hand because it doesn't seem to be applied that well. Okay, that'll do. Let's just take the whole thing off. Okay. Ooh, okay. Right, so clean me first. So um, we get a little bit of a uh, a cup here that we put inside the capsule pocket to uh, clean it. You put, uh, look at the line, you put cold water in first um, and do a full top cycle um, and then followed by um, hot water. Doesn't really, doesn't really say hot or cold. Ooh, I mean, let's focus that. Um, no, it, it doesn't. Oh, there we go. So yeah, it says cold, hot, although it's seriously not very clear in that one either. Oh well, never mind. So, let's just open this up. Dutchagusto.com. We made this. All right, so we got quite a quite a hefty manual. Jesus. What the hell? Oh, safety precautions. Okay. Well, I guess this issue is a kettle. Um... See if I can do this one hand. That'd be a no. A few moments later. Um, so I hope it's the right way up. Be. This is a little capsule holder. Let's get rid of that. Sorry, headphone users. Oh, that's a squeaky noise. And there we go. So I went and got the red one, as you probably imagined. <laughs> I probably guessed from the box. So, um, plastering everywhere. Oh, no, that's not plastering. What's going on with this cable? It is pot kind of stuck on. Okay, so um, this is it. That's where the capsule goes in there. Um, pop the light on. There you go. And uh, yeah, the water goes in here. So let's open this up. Smash it off the kitchen work service. So I like the things to go. Two seconds, jump cut. The bag is now open. Uh, yeah, so Dutchy Gusto, Next Cafe, uh, blah 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 blah. 
Uh, oh, it's already got the cleaning pod in it, so that's handy. Interesting. So if we slide that in there, put that down, I guess I gotta go fill it up then. I noticed is um it's got this logo on, so it's I'm I'm assuming they're guaranteeing parts for at least ten years, because this but down here says it's only two year warranty or two year guarantee, which I'm assuming is a warranty. Um bit odd to see uh, to see a logo that specifies that they'll have parts for ten years. Okay, so um, just fill it up with water. Time to grab a cup. Uh, bear with me a second. Let's grab one of these big ones. Uh, it says to use a glass, actually, but... Oh, well. Whatever. So this is still the cleaning... Um... Ooh, okay. There's an animation to tell you it's getting hot, I'm assuming. Yeah, there you go. Uh, let's close that. So, yeah, it says to change that to... Ooh, it's a scrolly wheel. I thought it was a button, but it's a scrolly wheel. So it says put it on XL and then flip to cold. This is so exciting. I can barely contain my enthusiasm. To be fair, for £38, um, I think this is going to be pretty good, pretty worth my um, worth my money, to be honest. Okay, so it's now blinking. Cool. Right, I'm just going to go empty this cup. It says not to, but as you can probably see, I've got uh, quite a bit of liquid in there. Okay, and then it says put on XL again, which it's already on, and then hit it to hot. I don't to see, but we use... A bit of water, so it's not the quietest machine in the world that these things normally are. Uh, it's 15 psi. It's got a one-minute eco mode, whatever that means. Because um, I'm pretty sure that the whole thing is always on eco mode, so I'm guessing it's just they should have just said it's eco-friendly. Um, it's one and a half kilowatt, which is actually lower than our kettle, uh, which we never use. So, um, off to a good start. We're almost there. Okay, I don't get why it blinks. Uh, I'm assuming it's just because it might still be dripping. Anyway, uh, that's that. So next, uh, I guess we'll use a pod. So, um, I've opted to pick one of these uh, Cafe Elite. I, I'm really not very good at... Um, pronunciation. Anyway, so it's saying 180 mil, which this sh this cup should definitely be fine with. What I didn't know is that some of these are two, um, let me come over here, some of these are two containers, and some of them are one, which makes me think that technically I've got a lot more drinks in this container than I have in the others, so maybe I should just stick to the single ones. Don't know. Anyway, so let's see if I can do this single-handedly. Okay, so... Super, super, duper, easy, easy. I said, be careful, this might be hot. I need to put that to one side at some point. Um, I'm assuming it takes plastic off. I, I guess so. Or it just punches it. Hopefully. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. So that's. Is that closed now? Uh, nope. Seems to be. Okay, and pop it in. Close it up. Uh, change it to all bar, one bar, if that makes any sense to you, and uh, okay, that one, and hot, I'm assuming. And we have coffee. Coffee, coffee. Hmm. I thought I'd have more of that than what I do. Okay, interesting. Cool. So, if we just check the state of... God, is this going to spill everywhere? I don't know. It's quite, quite, quite good. So it creates a little pinhole to force the air through. Uh, force the air through, force the water through. Interesting. I'm assuming that's empty now.
Well, here we go. Chin chin. Mm, so you know, it's not it's not overly hot, which is I'm not a big fan of super hot uh, coffee anyway. But um, it's alright. It's not it's not too bad. It'll do. Guess I'm stuck with it now. <laughs> no, to be fair, um, it's probably just the one I picked, but. Um, I, I, for 50p a cup or slightly less than 50p a cup. Actually, no, it'd be 25p a cup for these ones because obviously they are only one pod per pack. Um, yeah, it's okay. Um, I give this particular one. What was it? Cafe Let Late Late Whatever. I, I'd give it a four out of ten. The the coffee machine itself. Mm, it's, so far it's an 8 out of 10 I can't say there's anything wrong with it uh, if you look uh, the water level is a bit um, a bit low already considering it's only done two extra large cups which were the cleaning ones and then a, um, a 6 bar yeah 6 bar so uh, yeah time will tell uh, hope you have a new year, and uh, yeah, don't forget it's uh, 38 pound in curries. They do have the model below this one, which has a slightly lower water, so like a smaller water container, and um, that's currently 28 pound. So it's up to you which one to choose. I'm pretty sure it's not going to make any difference to the flavour because they're both 15 bar, both uh, 1.5 kilowatt. So um, yeah, have a good one.